Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Governor State University's 2017 Convocation. I'm Justin Smith, GSU Student Senate President. I remember walking into this auditorium three years ago as a member of GSU's first freshman class. I'm proud, I am very, very, very proud to say that the next GSU ceremony I will be marching in is the May commencement. This is when I will join the class of 2018 as a GSU graduate. <laughs> GSU has been my home for three years. And in those three years, the support from GSU's faculty and staff has made all the difference in my success. Here I was embraced for who I am, my interests were supported, and I received the academic support I needed to succeed. It is here that I stood on a solid foundation. Thank you for all of your help. Before we welcome this year's freshmen, the class of 2021, please help me welcome our dual degree program students. Our seniors, junior, and sophomore classes will be led into the auditorium by the gonfalon carriers. Some of these are members of the GSU Student Senate. Senators are wearing their Student Senate cardigan. The first class, our first freshman class, my class, are now seniors. Please welcome the junior and senior classes of GSU. Ladies and gentlemen, the junior and senior classes of GSU. Let's give them one more hand. Down 
a timeline, last year's freshmen are today's sophomores, the class of 2020. Let's welcome them back for their second year at GSU. A GSU tradition is to give new freshmen GSU cords, cords that they will wear four years down the road at the commencement ceremony. Courting this year's freshmen will be Barbara Winnicki, faculty senate president, associate professor Gokche Sargat, associate professor Walter Henney, and associate professor David Gollin. And now, just as you made me feel at home three years ago, will you all please stand to your feet and join me in cheering on and welcoming our new freshmen, the class of 2021. Everyone, please be seated. The student senators were gone for line holders and led the individual classes in this afternoon. Would our student senators please rise so we can recognize them once more? They are your student body governance. But it is now my pleasure to introduce the one and only, the spectacular, the amazing, the esteemed Dr. Deborah Bordelon, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Now I have to live up to that introduction. 
Well, welcome to the 2017 GSU Convocation. As Justin shared with you, I'm Deborah Bordelon, and I'm the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. We are so excited to have all of you here today to celebrate the start of the 2017-2018 academic year. I'd like to start off by just saying thank you to all of you who are here today for your dedication, your commitment to the, to the success of Governor State University. At GSU, we embrace challenges. We're strong problem solvers and we're resilient. And we succeed and flourish in the face of daunting challenges, but we move forward. This is a historic year for Governor State University. We welcomed our, first, our fourth freshman class. Our new sophomores and juniors are back and they're strong. And our first freshman class is looking forward to graduation. Let's give them another round of applause. I would also like to recognize the students who have joined us before the official start of the semester in our service and leadership seminar and our male success initiative. If you participated in those programs, wave your hands. All right, let's give them a round of applause. And our Smart Start students have been actively engaged with their professors the past two weeks and getting ready to roar into their freshman year. Our Center for the Junior Year is active and is providing that conduit to bring together our rising juniors with our juniors transferring from community colleges and other institutions to explore their mission, their passions, and to become one vibrant learning community. We also welcome our international students who are joining us from various countries to achieve their academic goals, learn about the US culture, and expand the horizons of our students and faculty through shared experiences here at GSU. And our graduate programs are continuing to thrive and produce leaders in a wide variety of disciplines and fields. Now, more than ever, I encourage everyone to get involved with university life, whether you are a student, a faculty member, a staff member, or a community member. We want you to be a part of our GSU family and community. Our campus is energized and alive because of your involvement. We are all dedicated to the success of our students and the success of our university. So I look forward to working closely with all of you to achieve our goals and to best serve our students. This is such an exciting time to be at GSU and to be a Jaguar. And to add to this excitement, we have something special to share with you today. Governor State University is celebrating the start of this new academic year with a completely reimagined brand identity. While our commitment remains strong to you and the communities that we serve, the new brand identity more clearly defines the university's values. Today, you will be the first to see a new video that introduces the new tagline, here you are. It embodies the belief that GSU students, faculty, staff, and visitors are individuals with unique strengths, skills, and aspirations. Each deserves a university where they can reach their goals and develop new ones. So please join me in viewing this wonderful new video. Thank you. Passion is what gets you through the door, wakes you up first thing in the morning, rattles your heart and stimulates your mind. Purpose is what you take with you, carries your work forward. It leaves a mark on the world. Purpose is why you persist. It lasts forever. At Governor State University, we take passion and purpose personally. We're invested in your forever. Here, you are not just a student. Your hard work in motion, a dream coming true. Here, you are.
And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our president, Dr. Elaine P. Maimon. Good afternoon, everyone. Here you are. Let's give a, another round of applause for that great video. What a thrill it is to see all of you here today. Our dual degree students, the largest class ever of dual degree students. And we just want to... <laughs> graduate students and all four undergraduate classes marching into the auditorium, what a thrill. GSU's first freshman class, the class of 2018, has just completed its final convocation march. Well, unless you're graduate students, and we'll do a separate gonfalon for that, and we'll uh, have you come back. Uh, the next time you march, it'll be at the May commencement. So with that, my official duty is, I now hereby declare the opening of the 2017-18 academic year. It's going to be a great one, too. And I'm entering my 11th academic year as your president. And I'm pleased to report that Governor State University is a university to be proud of. I'm delighted to acknowledge our Board of Trustees, represented today by our student trustee, Linda Coleman. Linda, would you stand up? And I want to thank those who have planned this event and the social hour that will follow it, uh, Arena Food Services, Digital Learning and Media, De Media Design, the staff of the Center for Performing Arts, our events guru, Karen Caesar Smith, the rest of the convo, yes. <laughs> the amazing committee that she worked with, uh, chaired by our constructive warrior in residence, Penny Perdue. I also want to thank our student affairs group who have uh, really got the message to all of you students how important it is to attend this ceremony because universities and ceremonies go together. Uh, we're part of a long and proud tradition of education and your being here gives testimony to that. So it's just great to see you all here. Now, our first order of business is the announcement of three Faculty Excellence Awards. These awards are very substantial because the contribution of the faculty is so substantial. We believe very much in mentoring at this institution. You'll hear that these faculty members who are going to get the awards have been mentors. They're also researchers. They're people who give service to the university and the community. Each recipient is a true exemplar. I'd like to give thanks to the Excellence Awards Committee, chaired by Darren Ozzi, and I'd like all members of the committee to stand and be recognized for your work. I know it was hard. Now, they say that there are no secrets on university campuses, but I think we do a pretty good job of keeping the names of these award winners secret. Uh, the winners will not know that they have been selected until I read their names. As I call your name, please come to the stage. I guess it's to the right here. Uh, and. Um, I will announce the names in alphabetical order. Uh, and I'll be doing some quoting from the Excellence Award Committee's decision letter. The first Faculty Excellence Award winner is Delonia Comer Hagens.
Associate Professor of Health Administration in the College of Health and Human Services. And we're gonna make Delania stand here while we embarrass her by all the great things that she's done. Dr. Comer Higgins was nominated for her teaching and research accomplishments. Her faculty classroom observer reported that she is student-centered and creates an environment where, where all students feel comfortable enough to share and actively participate in class discussions. Her students have described her as genuine, joyful, and engaging. One student noted that her passion for the material is contagious, and we like that kind of contagion. Dr. Comer Higgins does research on health disparities. She focuses on reducing diabetes and diabetes complications among minority populations. She's an investigator for the National Institutes of Health and has received funding from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. She has also received national recognition as an emerging scholar from the National Center for Institutional Diversity. On May 12th of this year, the GSU Board of Trustees approved tenure for Dr. Comer Higgins. Let's congratulate Delania Comer Higgins. And let me just say to the students, you should be making mental notes of the faculty members you want to seek out. And what tenure means is that Governor State University and its trustees were smart enough to make a permanent commitment to Dr. Lonya Comer Higgins, and I'm going to walk over and congratulate her. <laughs> we'll be taking pictures later because we want to go right on with our next Faculty Excellence Award winner. Uh, these prizes are six thousand dollars, so these are big prizes, and they deserve them. Our next recipient is Natalia Ermasova, Assistant Professor, Public Administration. <laughs> Assistant Professor in Public Administration in the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Ermasova demonstrates excellence in teaching and in research. She employs innovative teaching methods and has a clear dedication to engaging and challenging her students. One student writes, Dr. Omasova made finance easy to learn. Wow. <laughs> High praise indeed. Other students describe her as passionate, understanding, responsive, and engaged in their learning. Dr. Ermasova is a highly productive scholar who has presented her work in the areas of international accounting, leadership, and business ethics. She has published multiple peer-reviewed articles in both English and Russian. Wow. She serves on editorial boards and reviews the work of other scholars. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Natalia Ermasova. And our third recipient, and each year there are only three. Uh, this, these are very coveted awards, and we want to have them very strictly focused on the uh, selection of the best performances as determined by our faculty committee. Our next recipient is Jason Zingsheim. Associate Professor of Communication Studies from the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Zingsheim makes first-rate contributions to GSU in teaching, research, and service. Colleagues describe him as outstanding, exemplary, inspiring. He has integrated highly innovative techniques into his coursework, 
even incorporating Twitter into off-campus classes to enrich the students' experience. And we know that Twitter is now a very important means of communication. <laughs> he blends experiential learning at various cultural locations with highly effective online teaching practices. GSU's Center for Online Teaching and Learning has recognized Dr. Zingsheim for his innovative use of online technology. Dr. Zingsheim is a highly productive scholar with his research focusing on sexual and gender minority identities. He effectively and tirelessly intertwines teaching, research, and service. Now, coincidentally, uh, as I was writing uh, these remarks, I found out just by happen uh, chance that Dr. Zingsheim agreed to co-author a scholarly paper with a student, but he insisted that the student be listed as first author. I should mention that Dr. Zingsheim is a second time winner of the $6,000 award. His colleagues voted for him at the very first moment that he became eligible again. So help me to congratulate Dr. Jason Zingsheim. I think that you see now that our students, how lucky you are to have such dedicated and passionate faculty members. And let's give them all a round of applause. And now we turn to the Baser Award. And, and you will see more and more, universities are all about traditions, about carrying forward a history into an innovative future. And it's just that with the Basor Award. It's presented in memory of Dr. Gerald C. Basor, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, who for 18 years served GSU with distinction. The Basor Award is the highest honor GSU can bestow on an employee and is presented each year to the individual who has demonstrated the qualities that Dr. Basor exemplified. And these are good qualities for our students to mark down as the important ones in life. Absolute integrity, total competence, generous dedication, unfailing civility. I want to thank everyone for the wonderful letters with inspiring details about the qualifications of your colleagues. This award is so important that we present it only when we have the strongest possible nominations. And there was a year when we did not present it. And so these nominations are very strong and powerful. This year, the committee felt truly uplifted by the descriptions of many members of the GSU family who reflect Dr. Basor's characteristics. The decision was not easy. And now, for the winner. Here are some of the comments you made about today's base tour winner. So we're going to listen to the clues. I'm going to give you some clues to see if you can put together who it is before I name the name. This person is an upbeat, helpful, optimistic, hard worker, a selfless and giving person. So that's everybody. So that doesn't. <laughs> She, okay, a clue, <laughs> constantly pushed herself to do more, learn more, and serve students as best she could. If you asked her to do something, she would figure out how to do it. Here's another clue. She often volunteered for university service, went to conferences to learn how to be the best possible advisor, Clue, clue, clue. Created a peer mentor program for students. Helped to write grants to get scholarships for students. Presented at conferences and helped run an advising group for GSU advisors. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our 2017 Base Tour Award recipient, Bonnie Gregg. Let me tell you some more about Bonnie Gregg. Bonnie's nomination letter was signed by 36 of her colleagues. <laughs> Alumni still say, Bonnie was the best. I don't know how I would have made it through the program without her. I hear some affir affirmation there. Do we have some alumni in the audience who are here to sell? That's great. It's wonderful to hear that our students and alumni feel so well cared for by Bonnie. All students need mentors. In fact, we know from extensive research done by Gallup that having a mentor is the most important influence in students' future. Happiness in their jobs and in life depend on having a mentor in college. And that's why we are going to make sure to follow Bonnie's example and make sure that all of you have at least one. As an exemplary mentor, Bonnie has made a huge impact. Now, just a few personal things about Bonnie. She's an avid Sox fan. Yeah. Yay! Okay. <laughs> She loves Star Wars. <laughs> New films coming out. The nomination letter makes it clear that the force is strong with this one. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating Bonnie Gregg one more time. After the ceremony, uh, I'd like all of today's winners to meet me in the green room for photos, and I'm sure that um, our colleagues will save some ice cream for us. Is that a promise? But we'll be taking pictures there. It was a real thrill to see our students marching in. In years past, in the bad old days in this country, University presidents would actually say the following to the incoming freshman class. Look to the right of you, look to the left of you. Only one in three will march at graduation. Yikes. <laughs> GSU has devoted much thought and effort to designing programs leading to the timely completion of university degrees. We say, look to the right of you, look to the left of you, and make friends with those sitting next to you because you will be marching together at graduation. <laughs> Welcome class of 2021. Let's make a date. Uh, don't take your phones out now, but uh, right after the uh, ice cream. Your commencement is scheduled for May 15th, 2021. And remember to save the date and the pin you've received today. Uh, these convocation pins, uh, we again a tradition, 
We uh, expect that you'll wear all of them, come to every convocation, wear all of them on your mortar board, your graduation hat. And in the meantime, for the next four years, here you are. Here, you are not just a name or a number. You're making a name for yourself. Here, you are not merely living up to expectations. You're preparing for the unexpected. Here, you are more than a number. You're our number one priority. Here, you are not just anywhere. You're where you belong. Here, you're not just getting a real-world education, you're getting educated in the real world. Let me say to all gathered here, students, faculty, staff, and community members, here you are. Thank you all. It's going to be a great year. Now let's go eat some ice cream. Thank you very much. <laughs>